And as Weathersfield and the state grapple with this unimaginable loss, the brush fire continues to burn land. The governor activating the Connecticut National Guard to assist. The state of Maine is also sending in support. News 8's Brittany Schaefer is live in Berlin now with the very latest on the fire. Brittany, can you see it from where you are? Well, Dennis, Lisa, no, we cannot currently see it. We're actually just in front of the staging area, but though we can't see it, we can definitely smell it. Now, the state is bringing in additional crews overnight here tonight to monitor that brush fire. The Department of Energy and Environmental Protection also has a small team on the actual mountain, keeping an eye out on those flames as we wait for additional crews from out of state to help out. Massive brush fire that started on Lamentation Mountain in Berlin Monday has spread to more than 100 acres, tripling in size in the last 24 hours. Our plan is to um, proceed with the prescribed burns as long as conditions permit. Um, beyond that, our operational period will probably be cut short um, sometime around midnight and then we'll reassess again and possibly use the uh, air resources. Around 40 Berlin firefighters and deep staff battled what officials are now calling the Hawthorne Fire all day. The Berlin fire chief says homes near the fire are safe and no one needs to be evacuated. Setting a few backfires to just control some of the vegetation that's left in there and, and take care of some of that fuel. Chief John Mysterio says many factors have fueled this fire, including extremely dry conditions, fallen leaves, and wind that is expected to pick up overnight. While the brush fire is expected to grow overnight, the forestry unit from Maine and the Connecticut National Guard are bringing helicopters to dump water on the fire. It's really tough. It is rocky, steep terrain. That's why we're authorizing the National Guard to get the Chinook helicopters, the Black Hawk helicopters. That steep terrain poses another challenge, making this unlike any brush fire they've dealt with before. We're not really doing nighttime operations on the side of the cliff. It's all from the flat areas um, and where we can easily access. Um, there's a lot of trip fall hazards up there, loose rock, um, you know, prime, prime territory for twisted ankles and, and broken bones. And the chief says the area where they believe the fire started is high up on the cliff side, so crews haven't been able to gain access to that point to be able to investigate what may have caused this fire. He says the crews will be out here for several days. Now the National Guard is expected to be deployed here on Thursday. That helicopter from Maine will be here tomorrow starting at 9 a.m., and that's when most of these crews will get back to work. Live in Berlin, I'm Brittany Schaefer, News 8. All right, Brittany, thank you.